Hello everybody, um, this is Elizabeth Asimad and as you can see um, behind me I am going to be doing the Game Room 3. Um, I haven't filmed for a while, I know. Um, it's just, you know, life gets in the way. And um, like most of you know, I am a nurse and you can't have long nails or um, nail polish or anything um, for hygienic reasons and I just feel that the ASMR videos without long nails they are not the same but um, we have some days off now and I um, bought these very classy fake nails um, I just want to say before I start that these nails do not represent me as a person they were on sale and they are for ASMR reasons um, I'm not proud of these nails, but they get the job done. We were out um, before and I had my hands in my pockets the whole time because I don't know. <laughs> um, but I'm going to get started. Um, we are in a new house, like some of you know. Um, um, they are making noises. It's an ASMR video. Um, and yeah, we moved and so he's got like a new room now. It is 21 square meters, so it's it's about double the size um, of the room he had in our old apartment. So I'm just going to get started. <laughs> now, um, it comes from our living room, which is... Um, Pretty much a yarn mess because I'm, I'm making the world's longest uh, crocheted blanket and it just won't stop. But here we go inside. I'm just going to give you like an, an overview. So yes, this is his new room and um, don't worry, he is not pressuring me or forcing me to allow him to have such a room and it's not mine to allow him um, some of you <laughs> seem to be worried about that um, but don't worry I am fine I don't even know where to start you guys and like the other ones I'm like totally an amateur because this is not like um, something I'm interested in but I'm going to start here behind the door. Um, these are Nintendo DS. Some Game Boys. Advance. Um, if I say something wrongly, just correct me in the comments like you used to. Or like you usually do. <laughs> um, I get like 10. Um comments correcting me. These are DS as well. And up there is like a Dark Souls 3 box. I don't think there is anything in it. I think it's something he got for free in like a GameStop. And then it's an Ambio Festival. I'm not going to like talk about all of them because then it would like take a week. This is a Game Boy Advanced. I think this is like his Game Boy collections. Game Boy Color. I remember that. I must put it um, straight. <laughs> These are all in alf alf alphabet alphabetic order. <laughs> and here is like the... I think it's the first Game Boy. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Um, and this looks like some old shit. Um, these are Philips video pack. And this is a happy skier. Um, this is the game 20. If that says anything. Um, 
And this looks like some sort of ninja game, I don't know. Some of them are cardboard and some of them are plastic. Not sure if there's a difference. And down here we have some Skylander games and Disney Infinity. Now you would probably think, oh, he uses this to play with his daughter, but no, she has her own Skylander sets. And she does play it. But it's very important for him and her that <laughs> this is mine and this is yours. So. Um, there's some Zelda thing up there. Call of Duty, Black Ops 2. And these are some Nintendo Entertainment um, system. And these are the cardboard boxes that he makes himself. Just take out this Donkey Kong 2. Um, These are just um, cardboard boxes that I think he like bought at the post office or something because the size was perfect. And then he printed out um, the label and put it on. Um, I remember Donkey Kong, you know. Some things I, I know. <laughs> and here are some Nintendo uh, 64. Which was the platform that we were trying to get, like all of the games, but I don't know. Um, something about that platform being small that everybody got that idea. So I don't know if he has changed his mind and focused on something else. Um, he has his own channel and he has done this video, like where he says all of the correct things. Um, I'll link it down below. And he does speak English, he's got like a... Um, very heavy Danish accent and his English is not as refined as mine so give him a break <laughs> um, here are some Nintendos I don't know something you play just holding in your hand I like this one because it's green <laughs> the commentary is very professional um, Yes, and down here, oh, is it that? Where is it Nintendo as well? Oh, it's Nintendo something. And it's an Indiana Jones game. And some more. More Nintendo, and what do we have down here? Oh, it's Nintendo GameCube. Um, I can't really see some Mario games. Sonic, Mario and Sonic, oh, do they know each other? And there are some Wii games here. And some old shit, I guess. Oh, it's for his Neo Geo. Neo Geo, or whatever, how you pronounce it. So, this was this section. And then there is a closet here. I hope it opens without making a loud noise. Now, this gives me a headache. Um, just a lot of cords and some controllers, a headset. And um, what are those places in three? Does he have four of those? And then this is some sort of PlayStation, if it's one or two, I don't know. And more games. I think this is like, um, he puts them here because he's going to do like a pickup video. Um, 
end up there. There is some something I have no idea what it is. It looks like a spaceship from the 70s. And here we go. Um, uh, here, here is his um, PlayStation 2 collection. It's it's quite large. I I um I had a PlayStation 2. Um, I got one when I got my tonsils out. I'm an only child and a child of divorce, so they had to make it up for me. And um. I played Raymond and a game called Dark Cloud, and then I watched DVDs on it, and it was a good uh, thing for my recovery. And it was like a like a like a wooden board to stack them easier, and up there. There's a little porno game, um, and uh, Assassin's Creed, Lara Croft, Child of Light, Bioshock, Space Marine, and uh, this one looks kind of cute. Um, some more PlayStation 2, and here we are um, at the PlayStation 3 section. Oh, it's Catherine again. Like, tell me this is not porn. What is this? Are those cats? Is it a sheep? Why are they falling? I have to play this game. I need to know what's up. What is that baby doing? I can't play that game, no. This is so weird. You can tell me in the comments what it's really about. Um, I can obviously see that it's anime and that usually um, is unique. And Bioshock. I like the sort of um, dark feel of that. It looks kind of cool, like it's broken. Um, the gameplay, of course, I can't tell you anything about because I am not really into this. Far, I am. Um, I've watched him play. Isn't that like a zombie thing or something? No, it's not. What is a zombie thing? Something with an island. What is this a zombie thing? No, this is something Civil War or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I like the sounds they make. Um, Little Big Planet. I tried that one. I mostly liked making the guys. And Portal. He's got two of them. One is probably like a special version. Oh, I'm sorry, this is payday. <laughs> and apparently I can't read either. Um, Guitar Hero. <laughs> I know that. Some more games. And these are um, PlayStation 1. Are they? Yes, it's PlayStation. Why do video games have to be so scary? I'm going to take the stuff back. And then he has Perfect Dark Zero. Um, this looks like an action game of some sort. And like doom boxes on each side, because why not? Something Nintendo Wii and a Nintendo GameCube box. And these are his Xbox games. 
he has a lot, lot of Xboxes because he buys them when they've gotten um, the Red Ring of Death for like nothing and he fixes them. And I know someone asked me how he does that. Um, you should ask him. Just go to his channel because I don't know. And Xbox 360 or 360, like some of us say. Um, Alien vs Predator. Seen the movie, not played the game. I'm probably picking out like the most, uh, I mean, the least interesting games, but I'm just grabbing for something I know. Um, down here, I have no idea. Um, a lot of boxes. This is something. And this is also something. Something for PlayStation 3? I don't know. And up here he has like the display of um, Demon Souls and Dark Souls. And he's got like a, all of the books over there. Those are his favorite games. And the Bloodborne. I think these are terrifying games. And here he has like a, like a chair. Um, all of his controllers are neatly um, stacked there. And here he has like the newer, um, newer um, consoles. We've got the newest V. Oh, what is that called? Mm, I was going to say V unit, but then I, you know, it just like rhymes with G unit. I have no idea where that came from. Um, we. Mm, it's gone, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, and this is a PlayStation 4. The Xbox One. And this is the PlayStation 3. Ooh, we've got a Dark Souls art book. I haven't looked at this. Prepare to die edition. I mean, these are pretty cool, I guess. Looks like the game. I haven't really um, watched him play this game. But once in a while he um, calls and asks me to see like a, like a boss or something that's cool. And I stand there pretending to be impressed when he beats him. Um, and much rather just go away and watch Kitchen Nightmares while I crochet. But everything you do for love. This is a scary looking skeleton. Show you sort of the process, I guess, of how they draw them, the characters. Those are a lot of spikes from his armor. He would just like roll on a person and hit win. I wonder if that is one of his skills. I'm going to put it neatly back. And 
there you go. It's like I've never been here. I'm like a ghost. I'm like a ninja. Um, Xbox 360. Two of them. Um, <laughs> because you need two. And here are some more books. And this is a controller of some sorts for an Xbox because I can see the X. And there we have a lot of boxes. Um, down here we have like consoles and loose game cartridges. And again, it's so. He buys the boxes and prints out the labels to sort of be organized. Um, this is a Sony PlayStation Slim. Oh, it's a Sony PlayStation 2. An Atari. Otron Gamatic. I have no idea what that does. Sounds like it's a lot older than me. Um and the Commodore Amiga, his Neo Geo, what is that the one? It's, it's a Neo Geo, Neo Geo, Neo Geo, at Nintendo NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and you can see, I mean I wish I was this organized, he puts like um, I'm sitting on the floor now. Um, like he writes like manual, joypad, light gun, memory card, AV cable, um, a strum cable, I don't know what that is in English, some sort of cable, and then he like wings it if he has it. And uh, Nintendo's um, 64 got a lot of things and then he like writes plus transfer pack and rumble pack I don't know what that is but you might Sega Master System oh where was I? Nintendo 64, Nintendo Gamecube Sega Master System 2 Sega Mega Drive Sega Mega Drive 2 Sega Saturn uh, Sega Dreamcast, oh they've made a lot of consoles The Sega Master System Atari 2600 So this one was a junior, okay um, So Atari 2600 had a baby um, And then there is Mattel Electronics in Television Microsoft Xbox 360 And the boxes you guys, there are so many boxes I am just one woman. Let's do this. This is my Mount Everest. Okay. Mario Paint. Uh, Ouya. Ouya console. Ouya con... No. Ouya controller. Ouya console. Generation Next video game console. And this is um, some Disney Infinity box, and uh, it's a Star Wars edition. You were mine, Luke. I don't know if it's Luke. I'm not a Star Wars fan. I mean, I watch the movies, and I have underpants that say Star Wars, but that's only because H&M like, mass-produced them and I needed underwear. Um, Turbo Graphics. The next generation video game. I don't know. What's Dog Dead Sack Edition? Um, Dreamcast. And this is Time Crisis for PlayStation. And this is a, a mouse. For a PlayStation, <laughs> um, Atari flashback looks like controllers. Um, well, it says twenty games that define a generation. 
Um, so, an important box. Um, here we have something. Ice hockey, tennis, something. Oh, I can't, I can't move it. I'm, I'm afraid I will. Oh, it's like that. It's like... What is it? It's made in the USA. We know that this box was made in the USA. And the rest, we will never know. Um, this is like a... A controller that has been pimped out. With a snake tattoo. Just got drunk one day and and made a permanent decision. Um, Sega Mega Drive, PlayStation Move, Sharp Shooters. This box, I tell you, is from Philips. I know Philips. I can't really move it, but I will show you. It's an old TV, and this is. Probably the console. I like this the Jaguar. I like the Jaguar. I'm, I always remember the Jaguar box because it's black, it's got red um, um, lettering and, and the eye. Um, this looks boring. It's some Xbox thingy. An Xbox Midtown Madness 3. Um, Xbox One box. And this is TV console. It uses batteries. batteries. Um, PlayStation 4 box. And this is a wee smiley. Or we smile. Um, I don't think my daughter ever got into that. She just went straight for the Wii and um, and she plays like Nintendo, old-fashioned Mario with my husband. They have this whole thing that doesn't involve me, and I just watch Kitchen Nightmare and crochet. Um, and PlayStation Three box, and again a PlayStation Two, PlayStation, PlayStation Two. This is probably like a slim. See how slender it has been. Um, and then a PlayStation something. And I can't reach that far. I'll just show you some game. Game Boy. And um, a Mirror's Edge box. One of his favorite games. I just played it the other day. I think there is like some new version or something. I don't know. I like a game with a female lead. Um, his Nintendo cap. And some PlayStation 4 games up there. His Donkey Kong cap. I gave them both caps. Um, because I'm such a good wife. And there are some PlayStation... PlayStation TV, PlayStation Vita, oh, PlayStation Vita, right? But it says PlayStation TV on some other things. I don't know. I don't know. And you can see up there the portal guys, like book holders. I bought these as well. But he's not displaying them very well. Um, and this is like um, some sort of machete or sword of some sort that he made after one of the souls or bloodborne or demon souls, whatever. It's like an old t-shirt around it that he died. And then of course there is blood. It has been used. It's paint. Um, and the handle. And you can actually um, 
this screw, I mean it bends, so you can straighten this hole out. But it's it's only a wall decoration. Um, we have some Guitar Hero boxes and some Neo Geo um, controllers that he made himself. It's for the Neo Geo machine. Um, this is her. <laughs> um, and he's got a um, metal slug in. I think he made this whole thing. It was like an old... Um, oh, what's it called? It was an old arcade game, right? Arcade. Um, I mean, the motherboard was... And then he did something, did something, and now he can like play the the games on... I mean, at home. And this is... The Stormtrooper, obviously. Um, he protects the room. But oh, what he just told me the last time when I said it was a Stormtrooper. I can't remember. But he's, he painted this. I know that. He talked about it a lot. Um... But I was obviously thinking about the last episode of Kitchen Nightmares. And um, the PlayStation 3 stand that took him months to get. I think it got it from Sony directly. And he got it for free. Which is kind of cool. Do you remember that meme where they uh, said that this was made from dogs' noses and people actually um, <laughs> believed them? <laughs> but this sort of feels like a dog's nose, but it's not a dog's nose. Um, like a stand, Project Gotham Racing 3. Here is his PC. He doesn't have um, a lot of PC games. I mean, I, I think the last time when I said something about him not um, playing on the PC or not liking PC games as much, it got um, quite the backlash. Um, but let me explain. I personally don't like playing tennis. Um, it does not interest me, so I don't focus on playing tennis. But that does not mean that I wish mass destruction on all tennis players. So it's kind of that. But to make you happy, he dug out his PC games and put them here. Well, he didn't do that to make you happy, but now he had extra room and it could just sit out. So if you were a PC gamer, he has no hate towards you. Um, and there is some Xbox something, a Mirror's um, Edge something, a Zelda book, some PlayStation 2 games. Up there is the Commodore 64 box. And here we have a Dark Souls poster. And here is the old TV with a couch. So... Um, the chair and the couch are like the middle of the room. Um, he does have the old TV um, because, like playing the older games, he says it's like a like a better experience. And there is the Nintendo. I think it's a PlayStation One. Something I have no idea what is. And um, a super gun stick. He made it himself. All of the wooden things you've seen, he um, he he made himself. He like 
gets into his head, um, he gets like an idea and he wants to make something and he does literally not stop until he has finished the product. Like I have been crocheting my gigantic blanket for a few months now and I'm okay with it, I'm, I'm in the process. But if he puts to his mind that he's going to make something, he is not easy until he's finished. And here I am in my gorgeous sweater because I am a sexy lady. And up there are some ami amipo 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 figures. And he has hung them up like very straight. There is like not a millimeter. Um they are not a millimeter apart. And he has got Donkey Kong, I know you. And Zelda. Is that Zelda? No, it's not. It's someone else. Zelda's a girl, right? Oh, she's the princess. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But he looks sort of Zelda-ish. And this is a fox in clothes. I just want to point out that this is not a um, realistic interpretation of a fox. They do not wear clothes. I know because we have a fox in our neighborhood who literally ate my bunny. I'm not kidding. This is not a joke. Um, he was gone one day and I saw that there was like a, like a, a hole that was stuck in to his cage and it was not him because there were like bricks around it so he wasn't able to, he like weighed 10 grams and um, he ate him um, and we've seen him and he did not look like that. This is Samus. All the names are there. This is Fox. This is Link from Zelda. This is Samus. He looks like a transformer. But is it a woman? Look at that waist. Um, and this is a Wii Fit Trainer. I have no idea why that is up there. Perhaps it's one of his sick porn collections. And Diddy Kong. And this is Wario, the bad guy from Mario. This is Dark Pit. But I have no idea where that is from. This is Ganondorf. Dr. Mario, Bowser Jr. and Olimar. He is my favorite. I have no idea where he's from, but he is um, the best. And here we have another shelf, you guys. And these are some Sega games up here. Um, Sonic Chaos. I think Sonic is like his favorite old-timer game. I know a lot of people haven't like um, gotten into Sonic like Mario, but um, I don't know. And he's supposed to be a hedgehog. You guys, this is not a hedgehog. This is like a weird cat-mouse hybrid. And what are you? Oh, are these? Um, oh, these are Sega Mega Drive as well. No, these were Sega. These are Sega Mega Drive. Apparently, there's a difference. And more Sega something Mega Drive. Here it says um, that the thing inside it gets um, delivered in the photo island. Um, the photo island. I have no idea what kind of store setup they had.
Tu. Are you relaxed yet? Are you falling asleep now? <laughs> and here we have... Hmm. Is it Dreamcast? Oh, it's Dreamcast! <gasps> I recognize the logo! I didn't read it. Dinosaur. They look angry. Um, Game Gear, and these are not been opened yet. So... It's Jurassic Park something. And these are PlayStation 4, 3. And this is in television. And this is again um, under the category some old shit. And we have come full circle. I hope you guys liked it. Um, again, I'm going to link um, the, like the real gaming room tour um, in the description below. And I hope you guys are all well. And I um, hope to make another video pretty soon. So, bye bye.